Hi everybody, Daniel here from Unique, just bringing you another really super quick video. What I'm going to do is just show you how to bind the copter manually. So there might be some times where you want to fly the copter if you've done a software update or if you've done uh, various other bits and pieces and you might go, do you know what, I'm going to go and test fly, uh, I want to leave the camera off. So I'm going to show you how to do that, it's really, really simple. All you're going to do is make sure the copter and the transmitter are all turned on. Obviously take the camera off, take the H520, turn it upside down and what you'll find is all of the lights start flashing yellow. All right. You can then turn it back onto its, uh, onto its landing gear. This one's not flashing the SO because I broke it. All right, so don't tell anyone. All right, so all my lights are all flashing yellow. I then go into, I'll come a bit closer so you can see this. I'm gonna go into my settings. I'm gonna go into my vehicle and you can see where it says manual bind. I'm gonna select, man, select manual bind. Then I'm gonna select bind. And what you'll see, you'll see is all the lights will stop flashing. Boom, okay. Once they've stopped flashing, you can go back into your main menu, right? and then you can go and fly. Now, please be aware that it hasn't got GPS, it's indoors. When it goes outside, you'll see the position of the copter on your map, right? And when it all goes, and once you've got the, uh, the verbal sound of GPS, you can take off and fly just like normal, but you're never gonna see the camera, because obviously there's not a camera on it, okay? Have fun, guys.